I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Movie actor and longtime Cheers star Woody Harrelson says he has stopped smoking marijuana. California marijuana dispensaries aren't sure how they plan to deal with the financial loss. Tom Brady's stolen jersey from this year's Super Bowl has been recovered after being found in Mexico in the possession of a member of the international media. The NFL says the game-worn jersey from Super Bowl 51 and another jersey missing from Super Bowl 49 were retrieved after an investigation led by the FBI. Mexico, eh? Yeah, so you still think we don't need that wall? The latest Forbes list of the world's billionaires shows President Trump plummeting more than 200 spots from last year, with his estimated worth diving $1 billion. So to the surprise of the entire world, it appears Trump running for president might have been a bad idea. A brown tabby cat is being hailed as a hero after she pounded on a door and alerted her family to dangerously high levels of carbon monoxide in their Wisconsin home. I mean, in all actuality, the cat just wanted to get into the room to use the litter box, but you know, if it makes them feel better to call her a hero, why not? You may find this hard to believe, but apparently there is a belief circulating in the NBA that the Earth is flat. <laughs> Seriously. Kyrie Irving of the Cleveland Cavaliers first revealed his flat Earth beliefs last month, and now retired basketball player Shaquille O'Neal has come out on the World is Flat closet. In an episode of his podcast, broadcast late February but only recently picked up by the media, Shaq said, the What? Earth, the Earth is flat. Shaq, what are you talking about? <laughs> the Earth is flat. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. No, Listen, it's not. There's three ways to manipulate the mind. What you read, what you see, and what you hear. Okay. Conspiracies. In school, first thing they teach us is, oh, Columbus discovered America. But when he got there, it was some uh, uh, fair-skinned people with the long hair smoking out of peace pipes. So what does that tell you? Mm -hmm. Columbus didn't discover America. <laughs> he found where some so, other people already listen, lived. I'm just saying, when I drive from Florida to New York, flat. Right. New York oh, to Seattle. It's flat. not flat. Seattle down to LA. Flat. LA it's back to Florida. Flat. flat. It's a okay, matter here's... Fact, It's a square. That's okay, what it I is. Then again, you know, this guy thought the movie Kazam was going to be huge, so we probably shouldn't trust his instincts. Norway knocked Denmark out of the number one spot when it comes to the world's happiest country. Of course, when Denmark heard the news, it bummed them out so much they dropped from two to the five spot. In an interview with Fox News, President Trump said he might not be president if it wasn't for Twitter. Four years from now, he'll be saying he would still be president if it wasn't for Twitter. In Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, 40-year-old Thomas Jones had to be taken by police to a hospital after a rather incredible feat. Jones apparently jumped from the back of a garbage truck, landed in a snowbank, and slid down onto the road where he managed to then get run over by the same garbage truck. Idiot level expert. In Italy, a guy held up a post office. Postal employees quickly locked the door after the man fled and watched in amazement as he got into his car, sat there for a moment, and then ran back to the door. Finding it locked, he began to shout for them to please let him in because he left his car keys inside. He was still banging to be let back in when the police arrived. Russia's anti-corruption czar says the cost of the average bribe there has jumped 75 percent. Now, How would he know unless someone bribed him? At which point you probably shouldn't be the anti-corruption czar. The Weather Channel says it will name a winter storm next year Colbert for late-night TV host Stephen Colbert which seems quite appropriate for a guy who blows a lot of hot air. A New Zealand river is the first in the world to be granted the same rights as humans. Man, I am glad this is New Zealand. If this was the U.S., the river would have the right to bear arms, and that just sounds dangerous. Nearly half of Canadians want to deport people who are illegally crossing into Canada from the U.S., and a similar number disapprove of how Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is handling the influx. Hmm, have you thought about building a wall? 
After students from Pleasant Run Elementary School in Indianapolis won a robotics challenge recently, several competing students were heard shouting, ''Go back to Mexico!'' Huh, I had no idea robots were Mexican, did you? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode is made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. I'm just saying, when I drive from Florida to New York, flat. Right. New York oh, to Seattle. It's flat. not flat. Seattle down to LA, flat. LA back to Florida, flat. It's a square. That's okay, what it I is. Can't